Hi guys, and welcome back to part two of Simon the Sorcerer. In the last part, we were taken to the Magic Kingdom, learned we had to rescue a kidnapped wizard, and now we're in the local tavern, or pub, or whatever you want to call it. So we've done, I think we've done all we can in this room, so let's go to the far right. Oh, hello. Right, have we twitted the sparrows yet? I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh, what's his name? You know, the short man said that was very important. I think he just makes an awful racket. It doesn't sound much like sparrows either. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a gong. Dab a bit of salt bait on it. <laughs> it worked for me. Let's have a chat to them. So that's 40... Excuse me. Yes, boy. He's obviously come from the mountains, innit? I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some. I bain't be seeing any round these parts, like... We be us humble farmers who are. Who are, that be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean, like... You have absolutely feeble accents, fellas. <laughs> Are you saying we be fakes, like? Yep. Yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. <laughs> oh, fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> My dear Panto boy, wizards. you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. Come back next century? Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? No, we didn't have to pay for it. That's a nice a man, odd. though. As I recall. Very clever with his, uh, walk, wasn't he? Listen to me for a walk. second. <laughs> yes, boy? I'll do anything to be a wizard. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being, um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey? Just name it, and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. It isn't a contraceptive, is it? And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. What does it look like? What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. No problem. We look forward to your return. They don't sound very so confident. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a... I think I'll leave them to it. They seem a bit too engrossed to my liking. Especially if they're only playing Mahjong. Right. There we go. And now we're outside the tavern. I think we'd better go to the village rather than do anything else, because... Um... Oh! Oh, I've come up to the shop, I don't know how. Oh. Go to the left. Right? I think this is the way I'm meant to go. Right. Oh, there's a ladder outside here. I better get that. That's the thing in point and click adventure games. If something isn't tied down, then just grab it. There's a spinning wheel outside, or a water wheel. Oh, a wagon wheel. I was close enough. Oh. 
looks like we're in old-fashioned um, chemi chemists or apothecary, as they used to call them. Right. So what have I got to get here? Let's see what I can find. There's a... Oh, a cold remedy. That's always good. And if I go upstairs, there should be... Oh, empty jar. You never know when you might need an empty jar in a game like this. Let's get back before the alchemist turns up and then he decides to turn me into gold or something. Right. Right. Apparently we're supposed to try and find this scepter, but I've got no idea where to start looking, so it's probably best to just keep looking around the place, because I'm sure that something will turn up. Right, let's go here. Ah, we're in the forest. Just where I needed to go. Right, keep going here. Oh, is that something you can... No, I just thought you could pick it up. I love this scene. It's well, beautifully drawn. Barbarian. Ow. What's wrong with him? Ow! 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 Oh, he's he's hurt. My foot. Poor thing's hurt. Right, let's try going back. Cause I'm sure we can help him somehow. Right, let's talk Ow. to him and see what's wrong. Ow! Can you help me, boy? What? What's the? What's what it? appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. You've got massive hands and you can't get a thorn out of your foot. What? Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look Let's at it then. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Careful. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. Indeed he was. It's like the old myth of Euripides and the lion. Apparently I've got a f So if I keep looking around, I'm sure that something will turn up. Nope, this isn't the right way. Well, I don't think I want to go that way yet. came into this world, I think. I don't really want to come here that much. A condor? Or is that a peregrine? It's definitely a bird of prey of some kind, but I can't tell which kind. Let's go back to the, to the crossroads and we'll see what we can do. Come on, Simon. Owl in that tree. Excuse me, uh, boy. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, uh, I can't quite remember. Uh, never mind. Right. Okay, that was a bit strange. Excuse me. 
<laughs> oh, it's um, you again. Yes, it's me. Are you a wise owl? Oh, yes. There's nothing I don't... Uh, uh... No? No? No, yes. I'm just not very good <laughs> with... Uh, uh... Words? Words, yes. Uh... Have, you got, Have any... you got any hints for me? Hints? Uh... Yes. You must be... Uh... Um... Handsome? No. Uh... Suave? No, no. Um... Your name? Simon? That's it? Yes! Um... You really are useless, aren't you? What? Yes. <laughs> Probably. Well, I'll be <laughs> off then. Be off? Yes. Oh, uh... I almost feel sorry for the owl. Poor thing. Anyway, something tells me I might have to come back here if I want to find where to go next. But at least I got one of his feathers, so there we go. So which way to go now? Oh, if I go this way... I can walk down into the screen this time. Simon's got a really nice walk. Just like, he walks really well. Okay, let's go this way. And if we go back to where that, uh, the hole in the ground was, we should find something good there. someone down there. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? You're fixing a gas leak? <laughs> no, I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Von Jones? You can't fool me. You're a paleontologist, aren't you? Philistine. <laughs> I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. Good luck. And you reckon you're going to find it down that hole? I am looking for fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? As a matter of fact, I haven't. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. So can I. Let's leave him alone for now. Apparently I'm at the center of the forest, so let's go to the... If I keep going this way... Oh! Goblin Fortress. Doors. Big doors. What would a piece of paper be doing out here? Let's have a look. It's a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Oh, let's go there then. Go back to the shop. We might actually find something useful there. Actually, I think I'm going to use the magic map for the first time. Yep. Let's go back to the village, and here we are at the shop. <laughs> hey! 
And who says teleporting isn't ch is cheating? Right, okay. Sorry, I just love this music. Let's open the door and go inside. Oh! The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. We've got a two headed I say shopkeeper. it goes here. And I say it goes here. Okay, but I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. Look! This is my body as much as it is yours. No, it isn't. I was here first. You just sprouted out of my shoulder. Who shouldn't have been mucking about with glowing rocks then? Shut up. I need the toilet. Ask nicely. Can we go to the toilet, please? No. I'll remember this, you know. Oh dear. There's nothing worse than having an argument with yourself. Right, okay. Let's give him the shopping. Was list. it you that put the organic soup here? It goes better with all the other soups. But it's all... Excuse me. You're not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. Great. Right, now that's done, let's go back to the forest. Oh. Oh, look. There's a word written on it. On the rock? Let's have a look. It has the word beer chalked on it. Beer? Well, I suppose they are dwarves. Doesn't look very what happy. shall I do? Excuse me? Yeah? You look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Great. Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? Deserve what? Who were you talking to? Hernia the Hunter, God of the Forest, and Twisted Guts. It's trees that are the problem, no? Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How can a tree be a problem? How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. Why? Is it true that you can tell the age of a tree by counting its rings? Of course. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Great. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just get a magic axe? Why don't you axe? just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. I'll keep an eye out for some for you. Then you'll be looking for a long time. It's incredibly rare and I don't know anyone that's ever seen any. Have you tried the dwarves? If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine. But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. <laughs> when I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. Right. Give me the metal detector and I'll have a look round. Okay. You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. Well, that gives me a load of confidence. 
Well, woe is me. Well, it's not all that bad. At least you got your elf. Oh, we're at the edge of a waterfall. That's nice. Right, I think I'm going to save it here so I can have a bit of a break. Thanks for watching this part, guys. This is Mplay signing out. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you soon.